gusty and it's strong. You'll turn up into a northwesterly, which is effectively a headwind for you. It's going to be better than the side winds, but it's going to affect the boats. You need to boat to the conditions. You've got to change your pace, change your strategy, and boat to what is safe. There's the decision, a clear warning for boaties today. Strong winds on the Rakaia on day four, but hey, I'm just working out which boat's the best. A heavy, shorter boat that doesn't take so much air under the front. But some of the lighter boats, like the FX boats, boy, they are light boats. And I tell you, if it's blowing at the bridge, uh, it, it is hard to boat. It gets a lot of lift under your boat. This is one of the braided rivers. They say if you can boat the Rakaia, you can boat any river in the world. You have to read the water. It's not quite like the Waimak. Most of the streams come out. So what you don't do, as you saw Ryan Ringer, you don't go right, 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 right. Otherwise you'll end up in an irrigation race. So if you take a right, go back to the left and go back to where you've left water. So there's a little bit of a take. Look at the cut banks to find out where the main stream flow is. But this river is very readable today. It's blue. It's an absolute perfect condition at about 150 feet.